What's up guys? So, in a recent video, I remember, I think it was one of my gay epiphany videos of 2020, I remember mentioning that generally I feel like being gay has made me a more empathetic person and that my observation is that in general, being gay makes you a more empathetic person. There is this theory of the third eye, right? That like people of color have a third eye in society when they walk about, they kind of see things from a different lens. And I think that that applies to all minority groups, including gay people, because you just have a more nuanced and like esoteric experience. And the hope, of course, right? The hope is that then you extend that empathy towards all individuals and especially other minority groups, right? That's something that I always kind of assume, but recently I was wondering, in other ways, I feel like my gay experiences have actually made me more numb, which I'm, I'm sort of in my mind thinking of as opposite to empathetic, meaning like more emotionally disconnected. So in the end, I, I don't know <laughs> whether I wonder if I've become a more empathetic person through my experiences as a gay person or if it's actually the opposite and in some ways I'm just more disconnected and the reason I was actually starting to think no actually I feel like maybe it's made me more disconnected is um well there's a lot of points but the main sort of catalyst was that uh, my grandfather died a few weeks ago and the way he died was pretty um, tragic in that it was unexpected. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't like a long illness. And so it shook up quite a few family members. And when I was speaking to my brothers about it, my older brothers, they were really visibly upset and they both cried. And I didn't cry at all. And it was a bizarre sort of evolution because when I was growing up, I always thought that they were so masculine and I always felt so unmasculine and so like bizarre as a boy. I felt like I was not, and not in a good way. I felt like I stood out in a bad way. I felt like, you know, I was very introverted. I was creative. I didn't want to like go out and play, you know, in the mud, so to speak. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't like always coming home sweaty from playing with the neighborhood kids. I was more like I kept to myself. I, I like to do creative stuff at home. It was weird to hear them both kind of break down and be that vulnerable and that I was, I kind of had a wall up like, and I, I realized in the moment that that's my way of dealing with things now and that I, I don't like things that are too heavy emotionally, whether it's with friends or with dating, like I, I shut off very quickly. Um, and I, I don't wanna, by saying this, I don't wanna imply that it's unmasculine to cry because that's so stupid to, to imply that, that's not what I mean, but it was a weird full circle moment that I was, in that moment, I was the strongest in terms of handling that like, I guess if we can call it like a family crisis. And I had told one of my brothers, you know, I will call our little brother and handle it so that you don't have to um, because he was already so upset and worked up. And so it, it was just a weird sort of full circle moment where I was like, wow, in, in a lot of ways, even beyond this, I feel like I have become so much more, again, I'm using this word very loosely because what does this word even mean? But so much more sort of masculine and like, you know, tough than I ever was as a child or that I ever thought I could be. I also don't necessarily think that that's a positive thing because to be sort of emotionally numb about certain things, I don't, I don't think that's like the healthiest approach. So I, I don't mean to say it in a sort of self-complimentary way. Um, I just feel like the, the level, the, the intensity of things that I've been through, particularly in my 20s with trying to navigate gay dating, the childhood stuff of growing up gay, um, the difficulties of trying to like build a community. There are things that my my brothers and most straight people I know just haven't dealt with in terms of like sadness and, and like the loneliness and the alienation that you feel. And so I think now at this age, I'm strangely emotionally uh, mature and I just I don't I don't really get worked up about that many things anymore and and I I notice with a lot of straight people in my life whether it's friends or family they will get upset about things 
Like they're experiencing things now that I feel like I experienced like 10 years ago in terms of like the confusion of people's intentions that you meet in person, on apps, whatever, like the heartbreak that people can make you feel. I feel like as a gay person, that's just been a part of like life for me since childhood. Uh, the alienation and the sort of feeling betrayed by people's trust, whether it's like someone you have a connection with that then sort of distances themselves from you because of their own emotional scars, growing up gay or whatever. Um, the, the isolation you feel from other non-gay people. I think all of this has really affected me emotionally over the years to the point where now something like a family, a tragic family event happens and I'm just not as expressive emotionally as I probably would have been about the same event at like age 15. It's almost like I'm emotionally cut off from certain things. And I think in some ways that's probably like a self-protective thing, like a defense mechanism that psychologically you know, you, you detect pain and it's like you've been through much worse emotional turmoil so it doesn't affect you as much. I'm also aware that like the truth is probably somewhere in the middle, right? In some ways, my gay experiences have made me a bit more stern and a bit more sort of hard, you know, cold. I think New York City, my time in New York City also did that. I lived there for almost a decade and I think that definitely toughened me up as a person. Um, so in some ways I think those experiences have shaped me or molded me into becoming more quote-unquote numb um, And then in other ways I will feel more sort of a visceral gut reaction when I see somebody hurting that reminds me of something I went through You know years ago or, or as a child, you know, I'm aware that that it's not one or the other right that in some ways I probably have become more numb as a gay person because of my gay experiences and in other ways hopefully it's made me more compassionate towards people even if they're not gay just parallels that i can draw in my head like i understand what this person is going through um so specific example like i have a, a straight friend straight female friend who i detect in her these like abandonment issues that she has also vocalized to me uh that she has and i'm very quick to feel protective of her because I think it's like a living vicariously through her thing. Like certain things that she experiences, I don't want her to go through the same, I guess, like sadness that I've been through uh, with my experiences that feel parallel to those. It's a tough balance, right? Because I, I don't want to be, you know, a hermit who just is like reclusive and cut off from people. At the same time, you have to protect your your, your emotional state. It's a balance, I think, in life of staying vulnerable enough that you can still connect with new people and stay connected to the people who you do want to make sure you have authentic relationships with. But you also don't want to like keep abusing your emotions by putting yourself in situations where it's easy for others to kind of like emotionally bankrupt you because of their own agenda, or because of their own sadness or their own trauma that they project onto you. This is a pretty, this is, not something, not a conversation that you can wrap up neatly with a bow, but always curious like how you guys relate to this or, or what you think about it.